Hi, greeting from La Paz, Bolivia. Once again, God bless you and keep you this morning. Uh, today, uh, I think God is calling you and I, once again, to be grabbed by God's own hand. Because I have seen a uh, few incidents lately, and it, it bothered me a lot, and, and it kind of broke my heart a little bit. <laughs> the reason why is that uh, I see uh, people of God, uh, I mean, they proclaim they are people of God and they want to do the work of God. But there's uh, not much going on in their lives. And I was observing it very carefully and I have noticed there's a major difference in their lives between the people who try to work hard in a way either for God or with God, they say. But there's no impact in their lives. But there are few. I mean, if I see, if I honestly compare them without any, you know, uh, extra points to <laughs> any one of them. But one is moved, being moved by God and by by being moved by God, they experience God's impact in their lives. A difference that I found was simple. One is led by Holy Spirit, and one is led by own zeal, own uh, works. Work is important, yes. I mean, it is our basic, basic duty basic mentality that we should have. But we have to know, working without being led by Holy Spirit is not, is not much. <laughs> the fruit is not that good. You know, I'm going to share book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 7 and 17. Just two verses. It's very important. I'm going to read it to you, okay? Let's check this out. Wait. Verse 7. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To him who overcome, I will give the right to eat from the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Wow. Okay. You and I, I mean, as long as we proclaim that we are children of God, which means we already met Jesus, right, on the cross, and we believe Jesus is the one and only Son of God, who has sent by God to, to do what? To save you and me? Yes, but how? To baptize us with the fire and Holy Spirit. That's what Jesus says. You know, Jesus didn't say to uh, people, Hey man, I came to uh, die for you. But rather, he says, I came to baptize you with the fire and Holy Spirit. Wow, of course he died for you. But what's the reason that he had to die for you? So he can clear the way. The, the stuff that was blocking between you and God, right? And that was a sin, sin and sinful natures. Yes. And he has been crucified for you and I. So we may be crucified with Jesus Christ. Why? To be baptized by fire and Holy Spirit. But to today's verse, first verse we read, which is uh, verse 7, chapter 2 of the book of Revelation. It says, if you have an ear, okay, if you have an intention to hear, if you agree to God, I mean, do not ask God to agree you. Now, there are many uh, 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 fake Christians or wrongful Christians or deceived Christians they may not be even Christians. They want God to give them something. Something they want, right? They want comforts from God, love from God, forgiveness from God, heaven from God, blessings from God, abundances from God, whatever. Whatever they may call it. But God says, you know what? Uh, yes, God wants to love you. Yes, God loves you. Definitely. But... To be a, 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 this actual 
children, child, to become a child of God, you have to agree to God. You have to agree with God. You have to have an ear that He wants you to have. I mean, everybody has a ear, but ear that God wants. Are you listening to God? Do you want to listen to His heart? And Jesus says, He who has an ear, the ear that God wants, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. If you are body of Christ, you are part of church. If you are church, you have to hear the Spirit of God. But you know what? This is what it says. To him who overcome. Yes. This is not for everybody, man. You have to overcome. Overcome what? Overcome your sinful natures. Overcome what? Overcome evil. Overcome what? Overcome your own selfish desires. Yourself. That's why Jesus says, no one, no one can follow him unless you deny yourself. You take your own cross and follow me. What does that mean? You have to overcome yourself. Have you ever battled against yourself? Question is, or are you always for yourself? Tapping your back and say, oh, I'm good. I'm good enough. Good job. That's why Jesus says, unless you even hate your own self, you cannot become disciples of Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm going to read 17. Another verse. Same chapter. Revelation chapter 2, verse 17. goes like this. starts the same way. Why? Because he wants you to listen. It's a continual passage. He who has an ear, wow, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches, to him who overcome. Hallelujah. See, it's not for everybody, man. Don't say, oh, I cannot win over myself. I always lose to myself. That's why Jesus died for you, so you can overcome yourself. Hallelujah. And this is what it says. I will give some of the hidden manna. Remember Jesus says he's the manna. He's the actual eternal manna from heaven above. Not the manna that our forefathers of faith ate and died. Jesus said he's a living, he's a living real manna. So you will never die, right? But he says, I will give you, give some of the hidden manna. He will give you words of God that people will not normally understand if they do not have ear to hear the intention of God. But once again, you have to overcome yourself. Overcome evil. Overcome yourself, your flesh. That's why Paul says your flesh belongs to them, right? And it goes, continues. I will give him a white stone with a new name written on it, known only to him who receives it. So, unless you receive it, you will never know. The special name that he, our God, Father, Father will give you. Yes. And those who have received only, they will know, because they have received words from God himself. I challenge you this morning, and loving you, by speaking you the truth. Yes, we have a battle that's going on. And severe battle, that severe battle may start within you today. Amen. God bless you and keep you this morning. So you may have ear to hear and overcome. So you may receive amazing truth. From God Himself directly. God bless you and keep you. Shalom.